Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. My name is Ali and in this video, I'm going to share with you a quick tip about how to crop images or backgrounds inside Creative Studio without using masking. I was playing around one day with images and I found out that you can easily do this within the software without using masking. So let's go ahead and show you how to easily do that. Uh, so what I basically did right now is I just got a background from my studio and I'm going to simply show you how to crop images um, and you know choose a particular uh, portion of your image and make it your background. So now that I have my background on my canvas right here, all I have to do is simply just double click the image and that will open up the editor for me to crop the image the way I want to. So let's go ahead and resize this image right now like this. And let's say I'm just gonna crop the image and, and have this house as my view right there and i can just adjust the frame of how the size of the image that i want like that and then once i'm done i just click somewhere else outside the canvas and then boom you have your image cropped now if you want to scale this up and make it a full width all you have to do is just click on the button right here in the top where it just uh, scales up the image and make it a full width and now you can see we have a closer shot of this um, building or house where you could just use this background as is. Now, let's say you wanna choose a different portion of the background, like you wanna edit this cropping uh, part that you did, all you have to do is just double click one more time and then you zoom out a little bit of the background. Let me go ahead and actually click on show so you can see better. And then I'm gonna double click on the image one more time, zoom out and now you can see we still have the rest of the image. So it's not like it's cropped as in technically cut off but basically it's hidden once you crop it off like that uh, so if you want to make it a little bit bigger maybe have a bigger view of this um, image and all you have to do is just resize your um, frame like this and then change the view like that and then again click somewhere else in the background and then let me go ahead and click on the canvas mode to make sure this is hidden and then go back into the center mode and let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna scale this up one more time. So now we have a bigger uh, view of this background instead. So that's how easily you can crop images. And if we were to do this for a different image, let me go ahead and show you that real quick. So I'm gonna go here and then I'm gonna open up my studio one more time. Let's grab this image, for example. Uh, same thing. I don't have to scale it up, you know, to make it full width, like, you know, like that by just clicking on this button to make it a full width. If I want to edit it while it's there, I can easily do that as well just by double clicking the image and that will open up the editor for me, like I said. And all I have to do is just resize and move this around uh, to keep the view of the background that I want. So something like this and then click anywhere else outside the image. And then if you wanna go ahead and scale it up, you simply just click on the scale button like that to give you a full width of your image. So that's how easily you can crop images within Create Studio without having to use masking. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.